Ooh, that looks tasty. Save the Hungry Gamer is back with another game review, and today we're talking about Get On Board, New York and London from Yellow, designed by Sashi, and art by Mishu Z. And before I get started, please make sure you've turned on your Klingon subtitles, because if I make any mistakes in the rules overview, that is where you will find the corrections. Now, what this game is, is this is a route-building game that also doubles as a bit of a flip-and-write game as well. And what's going to be happening is, on your turn, each player will be starting at their stoplight, or their point of origin, and they'll be building a bus route. Now, in this case, I only have one out there just to kind of show you how things work. Each player will also have their own pad here, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. What's going to happen is, on each turn, we will flip over one of these cards, and that card will have a ticket number on there. In this case, we have a two, and I'm just going to move my point of origin right up there so we can see a little better. And as you see, that two is going to tell me exactly what type of shape I can make. So I would go here, I would mark off my two there, and I'm going to have to make my route this turn, there'll be two pieces, because there are two spots on there, and I have to have a 90 degree turn. I will also point out that each different pad has a different combination of shapes and turns and things that you have to do based on each different number. And so what this means is, first I will take my first piece of my route, and I get to place it going down any street that I would like. I will just say I'm going to come here first, and then I will take a 90 degree turn and I will go to there. And lucky for me, I wound up at a green light there, which means I can immediately place one more because that's what green light does. And I will just come right back down this way. Then, because I've stopped there, I get to pick up this grandma and I will simply come right over here and just mark that I've picked up that grandma and that would be worth one point at the end of the game. And the more and more grandmas you pick up, the more points they're going to be worth. And then that would be the turn. And then we would go and we would draw another one and we would keep going through and picking these things and we keep going through, and I'd be crossing all these off and building out my route. Now, what determines what's going to happen on your turn is where do you stop? So, let's say another turn, I placed that, and I wound up on this student. Well, then I would cross out the student right there. But what's happening to the students is you're going to be adding all of these up and then trying to get them to their various schools along the route. So, in other words, if somehow I've managed to make this happen, like so, then I would also cross that off, like so, and then that would be building up those points because you're going to be multiplying however many students you get times however many different schools you manage to get to, and that's how those points are going to work. And each of the different types of people you pick up are going to be worth different points in different ways. For example, the business people here, as you pick them up off the board, you're going to be filling these out until you get to their place of business. For example, right here. If you were to get right there and I only had two, well, I would cross that out completely. It doesn't get used. I would look down here and see, all right, that is worth four points, and you'll be able to do that a total of three times. You're also going to get a bonus passenger, depending on how far over you get in those columns, and so that's how you can get these other three students as you're getting interns that you're taking to work like that. And it's going to be the same idea down here with the tourists, the same type of thing. You're, you're going to be getting points based on how far over you go before you get to whatever tourist trap that you are taking all those tourists to. Now, there's a couple of other things that can happen. One, when you're on the New York side of the board, every time you go through one of these, that's a traffic jam. Or if you wind up having to place your route next to another player's route at the same time. So for me, that would be something like this. Every time you do that, you have to cross off some of these buses here, which are going to be negative points. Also, if you ever double back on yourself, you've routed yourself into a corner to where you would be coming back around to where you've already started, well, then you are eliminated from the game because I guess you get fired. And there's a way around that by you can turn straights into turns or turns into straights by marking off these right here, which are also worth negative points at the end of the game. The other two ways that you're going to get points have to do with these cards that are on the board. And these are simply on a turn if someone has, in this case, gotten five tourists or five businessmen. They're going to get 10 points, which will mark on their sheet, and every player that does it that same turn will get those points. Then after that, it flips over and they're only worth six. And finally, every player has their own secret objective, which is 
make sure you hit all of the different spots with your route around the board, and you'll be awarded points for that. So that's how this game works. If you're playing with more than three players, you play with the other side, which is the London side of the board. But that's how this game works. So what do I like about this game? First, I'll say it has, it kind of, it just has a lovely look to it. It just, it looks really nice when you have it out there on the table. You have all these different routes going all over the place. It, I like the, the look of the people. I, it just, it looks nice. Along with that, I, I like the simplicity of it. You can play the game very, very quickly. It's not, it, it's not very hard to teach. Easy to get out there. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I think that works really, really well. I also like that this is a game with a lot of reaction to it. This is not a, this is not a planning game, really. You do a little planning when you're picking where you're going to start. You do a little planning as you're looking at your secret objective, your secret route, and how are you going to move move around. Okay, I think I'm going to kind of go here to here to here or whatever it might be that you're going to try. But it's more of a game about reacting because you don't really know what it is that you're going to get. And kind of the, the meat of the game is when you pull that card and it's sending you a direction that isn't helpful or sending you a direction where you're going to have to hit a lot of traffic or whatever it is, and you get to make that decision. Okay. Do I want to just take the traffic hit? Do I want to use one of my other negative point things to kind of change my route into something different so I can try to get where I'm going? Or what do I want to do? And, and I think that in particular makes this game interesting. The scoring and stuff, that's all relatively simple. And as you're going through, you're kind of looking at what you have and saying, okay, well, I can get students or I can get a tour as well. Okay, well, I think I'm kind of going more down the student track because I also know that I'm going to wind up by the university up at the top corner. So I guess I should go for the student because that's where my secret objective route ends. And so you have these choices which you're kind of trying to go for, but it you're reacting in the moment. And I personally really do enjoy that. I think that's fun. I think that's clever. I like the two different sides of the board, how... No matter what player count you're playing at, you're, the board's going to feel crowded. And I think having the London and New York, I think that's pretty clever. It works very, very well. And just kind of the, 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 the theme behind it is fun. There is something very satisfying going around and just picking up all these grandmas. And the more grandmas that you pick up, the more points you're going to get. You never drop them off anywhere. They just <laughs> sit on the bus and they ride around for the day or whatever. And it's just, it's cute. It's clever. It's fun. Or you're picking up the businessman and you're dropping them off at work. Or maybe if you do really well, you're picking up the businessman and you're dropping off at work. And then, oh yeah, they also are going to bring on an intern, which is going to let you mark off another student spot and get more bonuses. And it just, it all kind of works together in the, in the way that a good roll and write, or in this case, flip and write, do. You kind of feel like you do one thing, you get another thing. So what are my quibbles with the game? Well, the first one is, as I already alluded to, it's a game more about reaction, not about planning, because you're making these routes, but you're at the mercy of what's going to flip up next. Yes, you can kind of count the cards. Yes, you can lose some points to change things, but you're at the mercy of that. Also, this is not a game that does one of the things that some other roll and rights or flip and rights will do, where you get a lot of times where you do one thing, which lets you do another thing, which lets you do another thing, which lets you do another thing. You don't have that kind of perpetual motion machine going on like you do in a Hadrian's Wall or like you do in a Three Sisters. At most, you're going to go to one place and on your route, you'll go through two things and you'll get to get maybe another businessman and you wind up at the at the workplace and that's going to let you fill in one more bubble and maybe the place you stopped at is going to let you you know check off one box and that's about it so it's really very contained to you're going to do your route and you're going to get what you go through and that's pretty much it and then obviously as i already said before something that i liked it's you're not planning this isn't like you take it to ride or something where you play ticket to ride like okay this is the route this is what i'm going to do i'm going to plan to go here and then plan to go here plan to go here because you're not going to be able to do that. You're at the mercy of what gets flipped out. But there you have it, folks. That is Get On Board, New York and London. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I had a good, I had a good time with it. I would absolutely play it again. And it's really going to be kind of to your personal taste of, is this the flipping right for you? Do you want one that's about reacting to the problem? Or do you want one that's going to be more about, I can kind of plan a little more long term? Do you want one that you get what you get and you don't throw a fit? Or do you want one where you're going to be, well, I'm going to fill in this, it's going to give me this, it's going to give me this, give me this, give me this. What are you looking for? But like I said, I enjoyed it. It was fun. I would play it again. And yeah, there you have it.
As always, if I made any mistakes in the rules overview, please let me know in the comments with the timestamp so I can get that into the Klingon subtitles. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.